Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Um, in the chapel, Galatians 6 2. Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the laws of God. Yeah, RJ and I are having burdens together, I guess. So we'll get into that. All right, in the basket, well, we'll start with off the hook first. Um, I went ahead and made this. I don't know why my camera's having a hard time focusing. Okay, I went ahead and made this. If you remember, this was the little bonus that came with the uh, kit because they had to, to delay the June kit. So there's that. Okay, and it's it's nice. I've got oh about this much left over. Let me see if I can't make washcloths because this is cotton. And so I'll make a washcloth or something out of it. But this is cute. It doesn't go with the red poncho that I wanted it to go with. Um, the red in this is super muted. So, yeah. And the other one is a bright red. So I may give this to her anyway just because it just doesn't go with it. You know, that happens sometimes. Then... <coughs> Mm. I went ahead and started, I've got the, let me see here, I've got three kits I'm working on, okay, two of them I want to get done because I want to use them as Christmas presents, uh, and so I kind of put another one on hold, but this is the one that came, and this is, it's got the chart and everything with it, uh, this was the actual kit that came with that. I'm looking for a good picture of it. There it is. Yep. And it's a delicate shawls crochet, or delicate shawls crochet shawl. Now, there's two things I'm not exactly liking on this, but it's not like a deal breaker or anything. Um, first off, here, let me get this. This quote yarn is like working with four pieces of thread. It, it's not even um, like spun together. So as you can see, uh, this is something that's gonna be very splitty and I have to pay attention. Um, I like the color. So it, it's good to go on that. And then the other thing is, is that it has worked long ways. And I don't even know, I'm supposed to have 93 of these and I have not counted to see if this is even 93. So I haven't even gotten my foundation row done yet. Um, you can see here, let's see, it's sticking to the plastic so I don't know if you can see, but it literally is just like four pieces of thread. I do thread crochet with like one piece and you can see how it is, but it's not it doesn't have any twist or anything to it. It's just put together, see? So, yeah, not really liking that, but I get a work up nice. I do want to get this one. I'm trying to get all the um, scarves and that kind of stuff that are generic for the people in my life done. So I started that one. And then our winner opted to take the um, spring evening wrap that I had already made. So I am going to work up this one. It's, like I said, it's a mindless knit. So I can do it anytime. And I've gotten one row of it done. Actually, two rows of it done. Um, but this one will work up really fast. And I'm going to concentrate on these two shawls. But I still have... Yeah, I don't even have that one in her bag. That's how terrible it is. Um, and then I have this one that I started. And it is the summer top. So, um, I've gotten about this much done. And basically, you make two pieces, and then because of how stretchy it is, it looks formed in this picture 
it's not it's a square but because it pulls and drapes it form fits to you so it's super easy um i'm actually thinking i might keep this one i think it'd be cute with a turtleneck under it in the winter so yeah i've got that one going on but the geo and the little mindless knit poncho that i always have going on um those two are on hold and i want to get the two shawls done and then this one depending on how far i get before the next kit comes and what the next kit is i know i can get this one done i think it took me three or four nights just to knock that one out so uh, with consistent working on it and then this one down here the the one with the strands i can't do it when i'm working in the evening because when i'm work, watching tv or whatever in the evening i miss one of the strands with crocheting it so um it is what it is i don't have anything on the wheel or in the pots of course um no in the fields so rj's world and the farmhouse are kind of one in the same my hair is just i don't know i need to get a haircut too but um so okay you know i've got the puppy going on which is fine he's doing great he goes to work with me every day he is very well loved he actually is went and put himself in a play and he's got a little play pen that i bought um i think i mentioned that before but he's gone and put himself in there he played hard this morning ate his breakfast run around you know that kind of stuff and then just decided that he was going to um take a nap so he went and put himself in the playpen i like it since thursday of last week he has made it through the night without pooping in his kennel okay he still has winkle accidents but we all know that that's a harder sell <laughs> with puppies um because they get excited and lose you know the ability to control that he is only 10 weeks old nine weeks old as of tomorrow he'll be nine weeks old so mm -hmm. i don't think he's doing too bad he's well behaved at the office he's he's a holy terror when he plays with hitch okay and i have to get on to hitch a lot about being easy so it'll come it, it definitely will come so um it is what it is it's puppy okay so all right rj's world star's doing much better she's not 100 percent yet but she's doing better coop is back out she's made two rodeos i believe and she's doing great so she is doing really good and on the other hand the truck rj has been having trouble with the truck he's headed into the mechanic anyway he uh ended up in salina kansas delivering a horse and the truck went out he got it hauled to a shop ended up spending the night in salina with uh at a hotel and stuff he it just wasn't a good thing ended up that one of the pumps the fuel pumps that puts the fuel to the injectors has gone out and i had to pay quite a bit to tow it home it was a big deal um right now i'm asking god to you know just take hold of our finances because it tapped me out it was quite a ways you know it's three hours away um the part itself is sixteen hundred dollars and then it's going to cost another thousand to get it put on it's a big deal um and it's kind of left us all in a lurch while that was going on my car went to messing up like my tachometer went out it didn't want to start once or twice 
uh, then the air conditioner quit running. So turns out my car is not electric. Let me just say this. Okay. It's a Hyundai accent, but everything runs on electric and it counts on the battery to keep it going. So I guess there's sensors and then there's core sensors or cluster sensors. That's what he told me cluster sensors. So if enough electricity isn't going through the cluster sensor, everything that's on that cluster acts up because it doesn't have enough energy to, turns out my battery is the same battery that I've had in the car since the car was built. It's a 2017. So yeah, it was right at one month shy of five years old. So I had to replace my battery. It took us a little bit to figure that out. They tested the alternator. Um, alternator is producing, um, which an easy way to test your alternator, just so you know, is when your battery is running, you put one of those little meter things on there and you rev it up. And as long as it clicks in and goes like it's going higher, that means it's charging. I don't know what all that stuff means on that meter, but I was showed how to do it. I don't even own a meter, but hey, you know. Um, <coughs> oh, I still have a little bit of a cough, but nothing major. I am feeling better, so I wasn't ever really feeling bad. I just sounded horrible. But yeah, uh, it seems like when it rains, it pours. Oh. RJ's green truck is still down here so we can get a mechanic to get it fixed. Um, and Lee's dad blew the engine on his car by not servicing it. Lots of car trouble. Um, it is what it is. Um, Lee's dad, or Lee's dad. RJ's dad, Lee, is, he doesn't do what he's told, and if you gripe at him a lot, he gets mad, and anyway, I don't even know if he's on his medicine right now, but apparently he didn't service the engine at all, and if you don't change your oil and stuff, we know what that does to a motor, so it's one of the struggles I had with him one of the many struggles maintenance is more important than people know if you don't maintain your car it will not last you just saying so yeah um, right now RJ seems to be bearing a lot of stress I am stressed uh, it is what it is the last two cars that RJ's dad got, I bought him like little thousand dollar cars. I can't do this this time because I paid to have that truck and trailer. RJ had a trailer on. I paid to have them towed over 300 miles. Yeah. So I just don't have it. I'm tapped. And RJ knows that he's got to get the truck up and running because we still have a payment on that. Um, hopefully, last night I just had a breakdown and I just said, God, take over. Um, take over our finances, take over our problems, please. You know, I am maxed with burdens and I'm just at wit's end. I don't know what else to do. So I pretty much just said, God, you know, take care of that for me and told the devil to get out of my life because he is messing with all my cars and, and wreaking havoc right now. So, um, any good vibes, any karma, any prayers, anything you've got, just send them our way just for, I don't know just I, I really what is it the Bible says he knows not 
you know might not know what you need but he does he knows what I need and I need his help so I'm asking for it and I'm praying to the good Lord that he figures a way to do everything you know what will be is God's will and it is what it is but I don't need the devil in here have wreaking havoc on me because I got enough havoc all right um so that's RJ's world and in the farmhouse today I am going to the post office um we had a lot of sick going around they're spreading a summer cold in COVID that's not a good thing because everybody's like you've got COVID oh my god no you don't um we just had a lot of people out sick so um I worked a lot last week and I am going to get in here and I want to finish this front room, finish the walls and detail it out. I've got to go to the post office and mail out our two prizes. They both have been claimed. I am so happy. It's the first time that's happened and I'm ecstatic. Thank you. Thank you all for that. Um, I think one is going to Canada and one is going, it's staying right here in Oklahoma. I, I didn't realize that, but that's awesome. So, anyway, I love it. I, I love that feeling that, you know, yay, I did a, a contest and it actually worked out. You know, it's like, yay. <laughs> Sometimes I wondered why I was doing them because people wouldn't come back and claim their prizes. So, it is what it is. But I am going to work on the walls. I've got laundry going right now. I've already stripped the beds. Um, I've got little man to deal with, you know, uh, worm is what I've been calling him. And it, that name so fits him. Even the girls at the office are like, yeah, he's a wiggle worm. So anyway, uh, I'm going to finish that. I've got some other things to take care of, just little running things. And this has been my only day off this week. So, um, yeah. And then at work, we've been uh having a production crew coming saturday so we have been cleaning like crazy trying to get things straightened up um we get a lot of things donated for others to use and so we're not really a shelter but you know people providing vet care it can get expensive and if we have extra in a donation pile then people can sometimes get you know some things free instead of having to pay for them so um what's the matter hitch oh he's right here at my feet remember that means it's gonna storm or something you good boy hmm? okay i think he's lonely because the worm is sleeping and so he gets bored and comes in to see what mommy's doing but anyway i also have been thinking a lot about christmas and can I even afford to do it? Which my projects are Christmas. Um, the men in my life, I, I've got all the women taken care of, I believe, um, when I finish these two, except for the office. And I think I am going to do um, homemade soaps and lip balms for them and um, go from there. Uh, I don't know if I will crochet things for them. Maybe some little washcloths, maybe some little hand towels. I don't know, but whatever I do, and, and my grandma used to make those little hand towels where you put the little hand thing on them and you uh, button them to your stove or whatever. And I thought about maybe, maybe making those or Swiffer covers, stuff that they could use at their house that I could do out of cotton, super easy. So, um, or acrylic and just do like a little care package. But here's the thing. I don't want to do kitchen if I'm doing soap and lip balm, you know, I might want to make little, I don't know, bathroom accessory type things. If I do that, or if I do kitchen, I might do a little kitchen set or something. I don't know. I like the bathroom set with the homemade soaps and the lip balm first and foremost. Um, 
but I don't know yet. I just don't know. So I am going to start looking for some cute cotton to pick up just because um, I think that that would be, that would go best with um, a bathroom type theme. So anyway, but I can do a little, I'm going to start looking to see what you can do for bathroom accessories and find something cute to make everybody. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, I am doing a lot of crocheting. Uh, that scarf I'm hoping to have done. That's this one right here. I hope to have it done by next week when I podcast and I hope to have progress on the other two. So we'll see how it goes. I've got this weekend that I probably will sit around and crochet. I don't have anything going on this weekend and I'm off from work this weekend. So I have to work every other Saturday and this is my Saturday off. So I'm going to bust a guy. I did do some mending. Um, Hitch went crazy around 4th of July and ripped up his bed. I got it all patched up and fixed. Um, and so I did a little sewing, but it's nothing to podcast about. But other than that, I'm going to get off here and be productive. I need to get some things done. I need to go check the laundry, uh, get the dishes put away. I already washed them yesterday and then just got to get them put away. Uh, but yeah, I think everything is, I don't think. I know God is going to take hold of our lives right now because we just really are pushed to the brink and our finances are stretched because of our, all the breakdowns, but you know, I told RJ once, I said, if we ever win the lottery, I just need it to be enough to pay everything off and then I can keep up with stuff because if I didn't have a house payment and I didn't have a, a car payment and I didn't have a trailer payment. I'd be good to go. So in five years, when I don't have these things, and it's not really five years, I think it's three. Um, RJ's on the road to go get that part. Oh, that's just the weather app. Um, sorry. But in a couple of years, things will be fine, but I gotta get through those years with things happening, you know. So and it's just life. It's just sometimes I get stressed and I worry about RJ. He has my car right now to go and get that part. And I have borrowed roommate's spare car again, um, which roommate is understanding. But on the other hand, I hear the, you know, your son is 24. He, he needs to be able to take care of himself. Guys, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what I would have done in his situation because he was 300 miles away. He tried to get a mechanic to fix the truck. It couldn't be fixed there for two weeks and it was going to cost $10,000. It was a semi place and they knew they had him right there. Um, he tried to rent a U-Haul to get the truck and trailer home. He tried to rent a car just to get himself home so that he could get with his friends, see if somebody could come and help him. He tried to everything to get home and get that truck and trailer home. And he, he ran out of options, um, honestly. Uh, I was at work and could not go get him. His father blew up his car, so he didn't have a car to go get him. Um, my thought was, if I pay the towing, get it home, he can figure it out in his territory. You know, he knows dealers, he knows mechanics, he knows people. Um, he was blessed enough to have a tow truck driver that let him ride with him. Some tow truck drivers will not allow that because of insurance. But this tow truck driver loaded up his truck, hooked the trailer onto the wrecker, loaded RJ in the truck, and God bless his soul, he got my son home. Yeah, it cost me money, but, and, and I realize that's his job, but I always pray 
that God puts the right people in my children's paths for what they need. Because I know I can't be there 24-7. And I know RJ's 24. But what would any of you have done? I mean, honestly. He had tried everything else. He even went to a, a, the only dealership right within walking distance of this hotel. And this semi um, repair shop. Um, he said it was like there was a cafe and a hotel. And then a little semi. It's a truck stop kind of set up. Um... And he walked to the only dealership and said, what have you got that you can sell me? He couldn't get one bought because they didn't have a truck big enough to pull the trailer. So he couldn't get it bought. He's like, yeah, they had like a half ton. And that's, I need a one ton. I have to have a one ton to pull that big trailer. And there's no sense in buying one, you know. He said that didn't work out, and he said and the price was astronomical. So, he's like, I'm kind of glad it didn't work out. But he tried everything from buying one to renting one. He couldn't even rent a car from Enterprise because they were booked so far out. So, he tried everything that he could think of and could not work it out on his own. Then he called me. I was a last resort. He knew it was going to be astronaut. He's like, what do I do, Mom? I'm stuck here. I have no way to fix a truck. No way to get home. No way to live. You know, literally. He's like, I would be homeless up here. What do I do? So, he... I bailed him out. I, I There was no other options as far as I'm concerned. I, I don't even... Here's things. I think he thought of everything before I even got involved. And so, yeah, I took every last dime I had and got him home. So, he's now working to get the part and get the truck up and going and go from there so it, it is what it is and he's seriously trying so can't fault him for that everybody needs a little help sometime and sometimes i just wish my bills were paid off so that when he did call me i'd have extra cushion or money in the bank you know if i didn't have any payments i'd be sitting okay but with those payments, it doesn't leave me a lot of cushion. And so I have a little bit that I cushion set back. But yeah, one thing like this happened and it took the entire cushion. So yeah, and then some. Because I only could get the towing. His thing was, is <clears throat> if he towed it to get home, he didn't have money for the part or the labor. So I paid the towing. So that he could have the money for the part and the labor. It is what it is. But anyway. Alright, that's enough of that. I'm not going to dwell on it. God's got it. You guys are sending me vibes, sending me prayers, sending me mojo. And I know with all of us just hanging in there, we'll get this kid through. And my stress should go away. But it is time for me to go be productive. Check my laundry and get that stuff done and out of the way. I have a basket of laundry from last week that I still haven't put away. I plan on getting that put away too. So, um, waiting on the post office to open and then I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go get rid of those two prizes. I'm gonna go mail them out and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, you guys have a great week. Thank you for just keeping me in my prayers and thank you for watching and good vibes and everything. You know, um, told RJ, I said, yep, just win me, you know, $50,000, everything be set because then I can build a cushion, uh, things would be paid off and yeah, you think the lottery would do that? Oh, wait, you gotta pay the, I don't play like the lottery. We don't play the lottery. So yeah, maybe I'll Ed McMahon or the publisher's clearinghouse come, you know, just enough to pay off my debt. 
then I'm good. <laughs> It'll be fine. It always is. God's got this. Um, I will talk at y'all later. And if y'all ever need prayers, just drop me a line because God knows if you're praying for me, I dang sure will be praying for you. I do a generic prayer, you know, just to cover all our viewers. And that's every day of my life. I I'm so thankful for every one of you and want God to just touch you and bless you and make everything right in your life. I, I know that it doesn't work that way, but just know that you're always in my thoughts and prayers, each and every one of you. So I love you guys and I will talk at you later. Time for me to go be productive and paint. Bye.